I, I mustn't give you the impression, I must not give you the impression that I think sin doesn't matter. It matters profoundly. And the assurance that sin really matters is not our self-disgust with ourselves when, behave, when we behave just absolutely ungodly, meanly, cruelly, coldly. No. What, what makes it very clear is the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, the only full and clear assessment of evil for believers anyway is the Lord Jesus Christ his life and his death and his resurrection that he might destroy sin so I hate my own sin I do I do and you in your best moments like me you hate yours but we need to give sinners a break. We do. They're born into a world that shapes them. Children are shaped to say bad things and think bad things. All of that goes on. And in, in that respect, and only in that respect, they're born into a world that shapes them. And there's nothing they can do about it. Later on, they can repent. That is clear. And they can be baptized into union with the Lord Jesus who hates sin but forgives it. Jesus not only avoided sin and was sinless, he not only preached against it, he not only was enraged by it, he forgave it. And I need to be doing that, and so do you, and so do you. Coventry Patmore, a poet of several generations ago, tells of a father who got a bit too angry with his little boy and uh, sent the boy to bed, unforgiven just a bit angry with him. And Patmore, I, I've got to read this. I would quote it if I could, and I can't. Patmore writes this poem, and even a very stern theologian like P.T. Forsyth, a Scotsman, said, it's sacred, it melts you. Here's what the father wrote. He goes to the boy's bed, you see, and all of that and the boy is sleeping, fearing lest his grief should hinder sleep. I visited his bed. I found him slumbering deep with darkened eyelids and their lashes still from his late sobbing were wet. And I with a moan, kissing away his tears, left others of my own. For on a table drawn beside his head, he had put within his reach a box of counters, a red-veined stone, a piece of glass, a braid it by the beach, and six, six or seven shells, a bottle with bluebells, two French copper coins, ranged there with careful art, the comfort his sad heart. I didn't read that very well, but you can look it up. Coventry Patmore, the toys, but it has the message. Sometimes we must forgive or we'll break the hearts of people we really care for and who need cared for. Let's give sinners a break, eh? God bless you and I.